Hey, what's up, guys? This is us trying to learn how to use the codon chart. So, just wanted to go back over it with you, and make sure that you had a good understanding of it and you felt comfortable with it. And so, what I've done is I've written these two different uh, codons. So I have A U G and C U U. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what A U G actually codes for in our amino acid chart, or our codon chart. So let's take a look, let's figure out how we can do it. All right, so with my first base here being A, I'm gonna go over this left side, and I'm gonna find my A. All right, so here it is, A. First base, got it, covered. It's going to have this entire expanse, it's all these four columns here that go all the way across. Now let's look at the second base, which is U. Okay. So, A, U. Now, the area in which these guys intersect is right here. Okay? So, A, U. And now, I have to go to my next one here, my G, and say, A, U. Third base is going to give me G. So, basically, if I take this, and I need to go all the way over here. Sorry about the line. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Alright, so AUG, and that's going to give me right here methionine. Okay, so methionine should be able to clear that up. So AUG, first base, second base, third, drags all the way across to make methionine. Alright, let's go look at this other one. So my other one that we're trying to find here is CUU. Okay, CUU. So what we do. First base, you come over here. Boom, there it is. C. Again, we're going to roll with the U's. U. Okay, and where they intersect, they make this box. Now, what makes this one really super easy is that you have basically only one option. So, it makes it a lot easier, uh, less likely to miss it. However, we still need to go through and make sure we're doing it correctly. So, C, U is my boxes, and then I have U here like this. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way over here, and it's going to give me this leucine right there. So, all in all, this is a fairly simple chart. Um, and if you get it on a test or you get it on something that you get this chart and you can write on it, please do. I would, you know, use it as much as you can and, and write on it as much as you can. So, uh, you can do something similar to what I've done, or if there's a simpler way for you that works, by all means, go for it. But, um, Today, so basically, we are looking at the mRNA codon chart. Thank you, guys.